Now. When they changed it from Tomb Raider to Time Warp, maybe they should have changed it to Time Torture. <laughs> that works. What is up, Coaster Addicts? We are here at Canada's Wonderland for my 15th or 16th visit of the season. I don't really know. We're seeing some people from out of town, so let's go. Say hi, Delixin. Hi. RMC, RMC, RMC this thing. Second train back row. No, third. Oh, third train back row, yeah, that's second train. Third train back row. Oh, close. Okay, so me and Daniel just rode Levy back row with these guys. What's yes. your name? Uh, I'm Daniel Anthony. This is my friend Anthony. What's up? We just rode Levy back row. Great ride. Third train of the day it was. And I think we're going to go again. We just got off our second run on Leviathan and now we have a whole bunch of people here. Yay! <laughs> so I have no clue what we're going to do next, but we must be dropped out. So we just got off Drop Tower. That was actually really, really good. Yeah, that was good. The, the drop's always fun on Drop that Tower. That drop was really, really good. It's top five black riding. So we're about to go and ride Vortex. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I'm like, what? So we just got off Vortex. Yeah, Vort Vortex is the most underrated coaster this park. It's always been a fan favorite. There's always a line, but not today. But yeah, one of the fans love it and it's good. It's underrated. That was pretty intense. That was a very good coaster and uh, it's still one of the top coasters at this park. Yeah, it was, it was pretty intense. Pretty good. Not a tiny line today. Running well. This dude had a fitting line though. It was funny. He didn't want his uh, nine-year-old girl riding with like this like a little like ten-year-old boy, and then he threatened to sue the park. So that was pretty funny. But yeah, good ride. To ride behemoth. He's not, he's not ridiculously long. You think it's trash, right? Your camera, yes. Yeah. Daniel, do you have a hot take on behemoth? Do you think it's trash? Yeah. I think like, the line is though. Yeah, the line, it's not even like it's literally three switch fast and you're in. Like, it's, it's moving. And it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. You say it's moving. It's you.
What do you, behemoth? Worst B&M? Hyper? Oh, it's not the worst. It's okay. the middle for me. Middle? Okay, okay. Best B&M Hyper. Okay, so we just rode Behemoth, uh, last few rows. Pretty good, pretty good. What do you guys that think of it? Awesome. Yeah, Behemoth's airtime is just amazing. It's personally my favorite Behemoth Hyper. Uh, Behemoth's just, Behemoth alone just come worth the Wonderland. If you've never been to one of them before, Behemoth is worth coming for. Yeah. That's my favorite b and Hyper too. I've only ridden one, but... Dana, what do you think of it? It's good? Yeah, the trims are hitting kind of hard this year, which kind of sucks. There's one trim on the end, but otherwise, pretty good ride. Okay, so we are headed over to Flight Deck and Time Warp now, just because this guy needs the credits. The time. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to comparing whether Flight Deck or Kong is worse, so... That's going to be interesting. Hey! What's up? Look who we found. Yo, man. Are you good? Uh, are you... Oh, you're cool. Yeah. Um, what are you guys gonna do? Well, well, we just said he was right at the flight deck because he's never been. He wants to get the credit out of the worst coaster. Yeah. I'm so excited for flight deck. He loves it. Uh, I am scared. I, I've only been, I've been on flight deck once this year. Yeah, uh, No, I've been on flight. Oh, yikes, it's okay. It's like, it's like rocks in a blend of Craig 2019. Craig, uh. First thoughts? It shouldn't exist. It's so bad. <laughs> like I want to die. <laughs> what was it? What number ride was it? Oh, uh, this is definitely number six in the park. No, but like, what's your ride count? Uh, 663 on time work. <laughs> what? Six there you go. You like it? No. You guys terrible. like it? Garbage. Garbage. That was yeah. amazing, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. It's outstanding. Oh my god. Pain means fun. Yeah. Now. They changed it from Tomb Raider to Time Warp. Maybe they should have changed it to Time Torture. <laughs> that works. <laughs> <laughs> Marathon Time Warp? Yeah. I if, like I, if I felt like committing suicide, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like Time Warp, so it's amazing. Well, tell her what number ride it was for you. Uh, this is 616 ride on it. Uh, in how many years? Uh, since the second year of opening year of it. What year did it open? 2004. 2004, and I wrote in 2005. Uh, it's like 660 times too late. 660 times too late. I remember what going, Dragonfire? Yeah. What? Yikes, Dragonfire actually, it actually is a line. Fairly intense ride. Like I gray out every time on it. I gray out every time on the vertical loops. That was one of the better rides, actually. Yeah, that was my best ride this year for sure. It was intense, running well. Pretty yeah, solid ride. Corkscrew hurt always. Corkscrew always hurts. Like, like, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like honestly, I have not been a big fan of Dragonfire this year. I felt like it's been running slow, but th that was one of my better rides on so far this season. Yeah. So there was the there was actually a sprinkler that was on during the ride. And it, it kept spraying, like I'm kind of wet, it kept spraying during the whole ride, like through the corkscrews and through the helix, and it was actually really funny. It was on your face? Yeah, it was all over my shirt and my face and stuff. Wonderland now has four water rides in the park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought it was dead this morning, but there's a line for wildebeest, so... Oh, I keep saying wildebeest! I keep saying wildebeest, but I don't know. Comment down below whether it's wild or wildebeest. It's I really don't... adding extra letters to their stuff. I know, like, why would you add extra? It's just so dumb, like... Comment what you comment, your pronunciation, because like, I really don't know at this point. Holy boomerang. I'm actually not surprised. This way. We're headed to Taxi Jam in Silver Street, so Bob could steal Daniel. Credit hog. I mean, it's a lot less creepy than me asking somebody if I can take their kid on a ride. Have you done that? No. Guys, look. You get an insane ejector air. What does this compare to, in your opinion? This airtime is as good as 
Steel Vengeance. Yeah, and you agree? Yeah. yeah, it's definitely Steel Vengeance and Magnum level. Yeah, some time. Steel Vengeance and Magnum level air time over here. It's better than Steel Vengeance. I think, yeah, it could possibly be it. What do you think? Uh, I think it's gonna be the best coach in the park. Yeah, I think this is a good number one. Yeah. Are you excited to ride? Absolutely. It's gonna be phenomenal. My excited face. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's go pictures, pictures. Why are we trying to do this? I can't ride in the park. Why can I not ride it? I'm so mad. God damn it. I'm gonna cut. <laughs> Silver streak, eh. Hopefully we don't get kicked off this one. Kick it off, why? Lit coaster, like we all like that Vacoma. You know that Vacoma, Vacoma in the park. We're about to get on Silver Street. We're about to get the best ride in the park. So we just rode Silver Streak, and that was actually the best ride I've ever gotten on it. Insanely smooth. It was really good. Was that what? What were you chanting up the lift hill? Uh, flight deck's better. Flight deck. I don't better. agree. I do not agree at all. That was a really good. That was a really good family coaster. Flight deck number five in the park. Too bad it was running. One train up. Work. It's not going to be busy today. And then we have like massive lines. Who's Tyler Burke? Who's Tyler Burke? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. What I surmise is Park is lots of local. So this is the um, chicken souvlaki and potatoes from Backlot Cafe at Canada's Wonderland, and it's a solid meal. It's good. It's on the meal plan. Lots of great food here. Hey, what did you think on? What did you eat first of all? I'm having spaghetti and meatballs. What do you think of it? Not that bad. I think it's one of the better places at Wonderland. I think if you ever come to Wonderland, I recommend coming here. For the food, I I get why our food gets a lot of hate, but like when you, go, I don't really expect fancy food when I go to an amusement park. Yeah. I just want to eat and go ride, so it's good for that portion. Mm -hmm. Bob, what are you eating? Chicken quesadilla. Chicken quesadilla. How is it? Good. Good. good? Yeah. Double drinks. Yeah, I don't know why. Why like, oh, did you buy two drink, drink plans? I didn't, but. Like what do you think of this burrito here? It's really good. It was good? Is this your favorite food at the park? Yeah? Very nice, looks really good. How many screams do you give it? Four. Four screams? So that's gonna wrap up my day here at Wonderland. Not theirs. We're still gonna be here. They're gonna take pictures, so. I'm gonna lose a baseball game. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go win a baseball game. Yeah, that's close enough. So yeah. Good time? Is it raining? Like, it's kinda it's kinda raining. Okay, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment down below the pronunciation of wild or wildebeest. Because I really don't know. Um, Make sure to comment on everything Tyler says and spells wrong in the video like you. Okay. Okay, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!